All right, everyone, I'm bringing you some content back on the boat. It's been a minute, but I'm sharing with y'all my favorite week of the year, which is lobster season in Key West, Florida. Was he a gainer? Yeah. For two days out of the year, we get to go down scuba, snorkel, snuba, whatever you want to do to catch lobster by hand. The season brings down hundreds of thousands of people and boats in the area. It's just an incredible time. We're going to go catch some lobster and then tomorrow we're going to go out and try and catch some snappers. So we can bring home a freezer full of fish and lobster to live off of for the next couple months. It's going to be a great day. So come tag along. Here is our trusty steed for the week. We have a 42 foot yellowfin with quad 400 mercury verados named Finn and Tonic. She's a beaut, we love these yellowfin boats. They do us really well, they're great for our family. You can put a ton of people. What's different about fishing for spiny lobster as opposed to like main lobster is they don't have claws. Dad's pretty proud of himself. He's got yeah, the, got, got the old numbers dial, man. <laughs> we got 163 starboard, 163 for port, and we're filling up the center now. We'll see if we can get them all to match. I'm down, dude. Don't ask me twice. Roman, can we see a gainer? A gainer? Yeah. Flip. Back flip or front flip? Back. Back flip, let's see it. Let her rip. Ten out of ten. <laughs> Do your legs get shorter? Oh. Hey, dude, get in the boat. Let's get you hooked up to the snuba. We gotta get some lobsters, man. No more screwing around today. First time snuba. First time snuba First today. Time snuba. Both the Atwood boys, huh? Time. Let's do it, man. The best part about this thing is you can stay down for hours. Like you don't have to count your minutes or anything. You're gonna have to anything. tug on my respirator that to get me out. <laughs> <laughs> so how it works, you got a, your brown, you got your weight belt here, right? So your line attaches to that. And then you got your regular regulator, like, uh, so you can chill on the bottom. Oh, here they are right here. Just a regular old scuba regulator. Nice. So this thing attaches to your weight belt, so it's not tugging I on your mouth. I used one of these during COVID. Oh yeah? I just walked around with these. When you fly. Oh. <laughs> High altitude training at the gym. You wear yeah, a mask. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Show me the hall. Hey, there. Oh, <laughs> glass bottle. Is there a message in there? <laughs> hey, you've got that. Hey. That doesn't look like a monster. Thank you. <laughs> Show me how you're doing there. Just take it right between the old. I got that was my last one. Good. Yeah, it looks like a that keeper. Looks good. Right between the eyes. Yep, that's good. a keeper. Back of the back. Did you get a bag? Is that a scuba, Steve? We're eating tonight, boys. What'd you got? The hat. Is it a? <laughs> I'm gonna charge you for this one. Is it a monster? Oh, that, that might bigger. be a keeper. With the plastic one. <laughs> He's got the plastic measuring thing. That's the rubber one from China. Is that the only one you saw down there? Because I didn't no. see any. No, they're they're out. You want to Are they? Room? Oh yeah, that's a yeah. good He's a one. Bunker, dude. <laughs> I bet underwater he looked massive. Dude, almost had a heart attack. <laughs> he is. Uh, oh, he wasn't even under a rock. Did he just chilling? Like walking around. I think he wanted to get caught, honestly. It's just meant to be. Keeper. Put her yeah, in the live baby. well. <laughs> you go get five more of those? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, about an hour and a half worth of work, and we got two, three keepers. <laughs> We're almost all going to be able to eat. Our price per pound is really high. <laughs> so. I work for free, though. So. Oh, there you go. Our ROI here today, guys, is not it, looking good. By an unfortunate turn of events, we thought we were going to a, another lobster spot and ended up at the sandbar. So we're here with a couple other hundred boats. And we're gonna go check out these swings that are on shore. We're here on a deserted island in the Keys. Got Caroline, my wife here. We got Dale, Alan, Roman's brother, Chad. Pretty Roman, and Ben. Up on the boat. 
We're gonna swim to shore here. Go check out these swings. Put your name in the sand with me. You can draw a heart around it. I, actually, two years ago to the day, I proposed to Caroline here in Key West, and it's Roman and Brittany's anniversary today, isn't it? All right, we'll do it like this. Ready? C plus P. Very cute. Well, they have these swings out here. How romantic. Just gotta go for it. Jump, grab onto the rope. Go, grab onto the rope. You train for moments like this. Oh, it's a little... Push me. Pick. Do you remember how to swing? Yeah, don't you use your legs? All right, take your picture now. You take your picture. <laughs> that is oh, an influence. Just have having fun. <laughs> Influencer on a deserted island. Beach. I bought a deserted island. <laughs> My new swing. <laughs> oh man, as a fellow pilot, what kind of cloud is that? Not good. Not good. Go around, we've got a giant storm right here. And we're about to drive right through it, Chad. Oh yeah, we got it. We're coming in, we're gonna be turning left straight into the storm. We're gonna be getting rain, but we got these things down. We're gonna stay nice and dry. This is freaking lightning bolts, dude. Yeah. Josh, show me how you clean a spine. Twisty tree? Twisty tree. Twisty tree. Twist the tail right off, right? Twisty. Ooh, ready There's for cooking. Treat. Oh wait, no, you gotta do the de, uh, de gut it, right? So you take off an antenna here. Yep. And then you shove it. Where do you, where do you put this thing? Right in the sphincter? Yeah. This, so this, this gets the intestines out, right? So it tastes a little better. Pull that thing out. Dude, Tarpon love those little things. Yep, throw it in the water. Little weed. You got a lobster tail ready for cooking right there. Oh. So check this out. On a female, they have these little claws that go underneath these fins here, and these these claws hold their eggs in place. So if she had eggs, it would be piled up underneath her tail right here. Versus like a male, there's no claws yeah, underneath these fins. See the difference? Parker, that's amazing. Amazing, right? Nature. That's the only thing I learned getting a biology degree. <laughs> <laughs> How to tell the difference between a male and a female lobster. All right, we got some lobster in the freezer. It is day two. I'm running out on our ranger boat. It's a 23 footer. We put out some bait pens last night to catch some pinfish. So Ben and I are gonna go run over to those spots that have been soaking overnight. We put a box of chum in each one of the little bait pens. Now we're gonna go pull them up, see what's in them. back to the fly ball in the back of the boat. We'll probably have, what, five or six dozen at least. So this is my rig for a snapper. We go from like a 60 pound braided with an FG knot to 30 pound fluorocarbon. And then I put my weight on. There's about, I think this is about two or three ounces and then to a swivel. And then I step down to 20 pound fluorocarbon. The reason I step down from 30 to 20 is because I want this portion of my rig to be my weakest link. So. If something were to, if it were to get caught or, you know, something that snags it or a shark gets it, I will still save my weight and my swivel probably. It'll probably break just at this 20 pound fluorocarbon. And I did both of these with uni knots and then I did a snell knot to the hook. Here I just got to trim the excess and then this thing is ready to go. To our fishing spot and the bottom is looking absolutely lit up some quality bottom going on here and we have our chum line out there's a ton of yellowtail snapper behind the boat but they look pretty small so we're going for the mangrove snapper that are sitting underneath them Let's see what you got there you got a little pinfish on the line a little baby pinfish and a big hook <laughs> it is a big hook for these bins Got 
a strawberry grouper. How pretty is that fish? That. They don't get Damn. very big, but the coloring is amazing. Look at all those little red dots. So cool, right? Hee <laughs> hee. I think we're gonna let this guy go though. Aww. Here's the uh, fish box so far. Looks like we got one, two, three, four, five, six mangrove snapper. We're wrapping it up at our first spot for the day. We caught a couple keepers, but they are very small. They only have to be about 10 inches to keep, which doesn't seem like a lot, but it is enough to feed one person for a meal. So, you know, this meat feeds Caroline and I for weeks to months at a time because one fish will be a full meal for her and or me. So, you know, each one of them counts, even if they may only be 10 inches, but we want to find something a little bit bigger. And using the radar to look for birds, this mark right there is either birds or a boat. And on these rings, it's about two miles away. We're headed towards it. We'll see what we see. Hopefully it's a big flock of birds and we can get off some fish. It was kind of slow for snappers, so we went offshore about 10 miles and started looking for birds with the radar. And uh, Ben stopped. Oh, oh <laughs> damn. So these guys, when they get all fired up like this, will literally eat anything. So I'm gonna put this little ballyhoo, which is like candy to them, on a hook and watch this. I'll put this in and we'll get the fish right away. All right, let's prove it. All right. Oh, you see that thing got him. I mean, what was that about? Oh, baby guy. That's a big one. Caroline has got a mahi. Oh, that's a keeper. Get that thing in the boat. Get that thing in the boat. Swing it in. <laughs> nice. That's a, big, that's a good one. Ended our day with one, two, three, four, five mahi, and I think four or five mangrove snapper. This is our biggest one. This is a bull. You can tell it's a bull because it's kind of more of a rounded nose versus this would be a female, a cow. It's got more of this flat nose going on, but super successful day. I'm stoked. Mahi fish is my best. I hope you guys love this content. If you do, subscribe, like, leave me a comment, and we'll see you on the next video. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you've been wrenching on your car, need a 10 millimeter wrench, plowing a bag of flaming hot Cheetos and drinking a Dr. Pepper and realize, dang it, I really need to brush my teeth? Well, now's your chance. I'm talking Dr. Parker's 10 millimeter tool brush, a toothbrush on one end, a 10 millimeter wrench on the other. This sucker, CNC billet aluminum, baby. Lifetime warranty. Get them now at CletusMcFarland.com.